Hi everyone, today we're here with Hello Cannabis just to talk about how they're reopening and the measures that they're taking to stay safe. So Leanne and uh, Lisa, can you please describe to us how you and your team are staying safe while reopening? So we definitely have some hand sanitizing stations um, all around the store. We're only allowing five people in the store at one time and we're making sure that we're social distancing um, with the customers and ourselves. We have some plexis in place. Um, and then we're making sure that we're sanitizing like all the doors that are being touched after each customer. We're also keeping cash at one register and keeping a space in between each till. So that way, again, promoting that social distance um, and not using any till that does not have the barrier and plexiglass. So. Now, if the government deems that you have to close the store again, are you prepared to go back to curbside? Absolutely. We're not going to take away the curbside um, ability for people to order. If that's something that they still feel comfortable doing, we have that system in place and we're actually still doing that. A lot of customers are just not quite ready to be completely social, so they're still doing their orders online. Some of them come into the vestibule, they kind of see what's going on, we'll hand them their order, um, but we're not going to take that away. And uh, in the future, we're also going to continue with delivery as well. So. Those are other things that we're going to be offering to the community, again, to keep that level of safety and what they're comfortable with. As a continued service. Yes. Could you just tell the audience or explain to us the online ordering process? So we have a website, www.hellocannabis.ca. You go on the website. It's very similar to like shopping at any online store. Um, they can scroll through the menu, add to cart, and they'll put in their credit card information, uh, a phone number and an email. Once the order has been submitted, we receive it here and we then fill the order. That customer gets a text message saying that your order is ready for pickup. They simply drive to the front of the store. If they're not comfortable with getting out of their vehicle, we have attendants that are in the front of the store. They'll go out, they'll ask for proper ID, come back in, get their products and bringing it out to the car. And like I said, some customers are getting a little bit more comfortable, so they're kind of coming in wanting to see how full we are, what kind of markers we have. Um, and we have actually seen a reduction in the two weeks that we have been open. Less orders online, more traffic in the store. So, and it's good to see everybody. Now with all of these online sales, have you still been able to build those relationships with your customers? One of the things we did notice with the whole orders online is that we got to really know our customers now by name because of the repeat business. <laughs> so now when they come in, it's, it's... Yes, we're definitely having that connection because we would had to take their um, name over the phone or we'd see their name and then we got to actually put a face to a name and now when they're coming into the store... It's like, so-and-so's in the yes. house, you know, welcome yeah. back. It's really nice. It is. And the big question we all want to know about is how do you feel about your new competitors? As long as the focus is what we feel behind our brand as far as community awareness and community education, um, that is the one component that every community that has any type of legal dispensary needs to have with the customers that come in. I think that what sets Hello Cannabis apart is our team has such a diverse background on not only knowledge in the cannabis industry, um, I, I almost want to say that they're little mini scientists back there. I come from um, the healthcare field, so a lot of times when there is maybe an older customer or a customer that has some health issues, even though we're not a health dispensary or a medical dispensary, the education that goes into every customer when they cross that threshold and come in is truly that one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's just that young person that may want to have a nice cerebral high or you've got that 80 year old woman that truly has some issues and is interested in exploring but not quite sure what the questions are. So that is what I believe sets Hello Cannabis apart and hopefully the other competitors will be able to offer a similar service to Sault Ste. Marie and the areas beyond because that is just mm -hmm. first and foremost. And, and I believe um, with the customer experience that we've already um, embraced in our customers, um, that they're, they're going to continue to come back because of the great customer service and the knowledge behind all this the knowledge is huge. Now, have you had any customer feedback from when you first closed the store back in April? You know, one of the biggest things I think that was so sad is when the government did close us down. I, and I, parents were coming in here going, we feel so safe that our children and our loved ones are buying cannabis and cannabis products that have been regulated by Health Canada 
and the fact that now they're closing you and they have to go back on the street. Mm -hmm. I think this community is welcoming the fact that there are services now. Um, it, it doesn't have that stigma like it did maybe 20, 25 years mm -hmm. ago. And again, for the Hello Cannabis brand, I know that that's something that we really pride ourselves on. Now we also want to know how do you see your staff and what is their product knowledge? We constantly do product knowledge um, sessions with, with, the, with the staff. We incorporate those product knowledge seminars with our growers and our licensed producers. So that's something that we're offering on a weekly basis to, con uh, to continually create that um, knowledge base. So then that can be conveyed to the customer. And, and again, I hope every dispensary does that with their team because it's an ever-changing industry. And to stay up on your product knowledge is just like anybody keeping up with their continuing education credits if you're in a field, master's degree. These kids are kids, I say kids, our staff. Huge knowledge base, huge, so proud of them.